The Convoy S8 is a great all-round flashlight. It is cheap coming in at under 20 US dollars. The Convoy S8 has many LED and driver options and as tested with the CSL MN1TG, it has to be the best thrower in its class. It does an amazing 47,883 CD. That is more throw than an original C8 would have done. That's just amazing from a flashlight that is the same size as that S2. Hey everyone, it's Chris here from Everyday Survival Gear and today we are reviewing probably the craziest thrower I've ever gotten my hands on. This is the Convoy S8 and it is the exact same size as the Convoy S2. So how is this the craziest thrower that I've ever had my hands on? Well this light does a whopping 47,883 CD and that's averaged out. I hit peak numbers higher than that. This thing is absolutely insane when it comes to throw. And all that throw is thanks to the S8 using a Osram CSL MN1 TG. It throws like insane. So this review of the Convoy S8 was brought to you by AliExpress. I'll leave a link down below if you're interested in buying one of these. Uh, they sent me out a few different lights to review. All I've got to do is put my link in the prescription. And uh, hopefully you guys click it if you're interested in buying one. Although I probably buy enough stuff for everyone from AliExpress. I've already got like so many things in my cart all the time. The Convoy S8 has pretty much the same build quality as the uh, standard S2. Maybe a little bit on the better side. Actually Convoy is getting better and better at their uh, quality control. Uh, it's using hard anodizing, same as always in an aluminium alloy body. Uh, this is a little bit upgraded because it does have a SMO reflector, which I don't know if you call that an upgrade. And it also comes with stock with AR coated glass, which a lot of the uh, S2s don't. So you can see the reflector is very deep, but about the same width as a standard S2 reflector, so not much bigger. The light is basically the same size and the same weight as a S2 Plus. As per most of these uh, S series, or if not all of them, it's using a uh, reverse clicky, like so. Um, you can actually get the uh, upgraded tail lights that fit this. Um, it doesn't come with it, but you're paying under 20 US dollars. I think it came in like 18 US dollars, so it's really cheap. And those tail caps only cost about like 2 US dollars. So you can upgrade that pretty easy if you're interested in having a light in the tail cap. Yeah, so style-wise, as I started off before, the S8 has significant changes and improvements to the S2. In some ways, I think like having the bezel here, which is might help for heat dissipation, I'm not 100% sure, but we've always been taught that this kind of the design draws the heat out and it does help for cooling. It's only running at 5 amps. I'll overlay a video for you guys uh, soon, and you'll see it's only doing 5 amps, so it doesn't get too hot but it does heat up pretty good still for a 5 amp light. The clip also appears to be stainless steel which is pretty cool. Should be uh, quite a hard wearing clip. I mean it's just a mad looking light. Just not a mad looking light. I mean it just looks so nice. I don't know how it would look if you done it like a purple like a S2. Can you get these in other colors? I didn't really check. Mm, nice. Size specs are as followed, so it's 77 grams without the battery, uh, it is 123.5 mils long and 24.2 mils in diameter. The driver is a 17 mil and the LED is on a 17 mil MC PCB because it's got to be a copper board because they're overdriving the little tiny Osram CSL MN1 TG. It's running at 5 amps so it is going to get hot. Just keep that in mind that you are overdriving the LED. If you've got another LED option in there, it wouldn't throw as far, but um, you know there are a lot of other options if you're looking for something with better runtime or not as much throw, because it is a pretty throwy uh, little light. You know, forty-seven thousand eight hundred eighty-three CD. That is a lot of throw. So if you're going to be doing like up close work, probably look for like a normal S2 or get a S8, but um, get one with like a different LED in it, like a SST40 or something, or get a high a high CRI LED like a. 519A. So now we've got the controversial output. So as tested, it does 47,883 candela uh, with the Convoy 5 amp driver that's currently in, in there. Um, that's for the little Osram CSL MN1 TG. Uh, peak, I got 49,250 CD. So it's like pretty close to 50,000 CD thrower, which is quite amazing for such a small little light. Put that amount of throw into perspective. 
When I first tested a Convoy C8 back in 2016, the one with the three amp drivers and an XML2, I didn't even think they were doing as many Candela as this. They were about 45,000, 46,000. So this light is like literally a quarter of the size, or maybe let's just say, let's just be honest, like half the size and it, and it throws as much as a C8, which is friggin' astonishing. All right, this is gonna cause some controversy, but lumens wise, at startup, it peaked at 900 lumens. That's the startup lumens. It cannot sustain that. Straight away, that dropped down to 664 lumens, and it sat there for about 30 seconds. And after 30 seconds, it dropped down to 630. And then at about one minute, it actually went back up to 664 lumens, because the uh, 5 amp driver in this light actually has a proper temp uh, sensor, so it can uh, ramp up and down. So yeah, so I think that um, inrush current at a little bit over 5 amps might be a little bit too much and the LED doing that many lumens is like crazy. These are rated for like a thousand lumens at 5 amps but um, being in, inside the host you are going to have some loss but also it doesn't sustain that. That's simply just when you turn the light on that's the measurement that I got and I should be overlaying the video here now so you guys can see that. The Osram CSL MN1TG is in a cold white, I think 6500K tint I ordered in. So, like no surprises there, the um, tint isn't like the best tint, but it's not meant to be. It's just meant to be a thrower flashlight. If you kind of want a good tint, well, there are some options out there. You can get like a Cree XPP in a um, better tint. They also come in a high CRI option. I'm not sure if Simon makes them when if the with the convoy s8 or if you'd have to build that yourself uh also the create xpp might be a little bit better with this driver because it's not it's a regulated 5 amp driver but it does have a little bit of play so the convoy s8 here is using the uh 12 mode driver by convoy that's the 5 amp driver um you can also get that in or you can also get the convoy s8 in a the four mode driver which is the green one this is the red one i'll take it apart and show you guys in a sec uh they all pretty much have the same features so this driver has low voltage protection uh reverse polarity protection it has temperature protection so it does step down but as you can see from the um uh lumens test it does step up so it does step down and it can step up if it gets colder but it's kind of a bit the light was getting hotter when i done the test because at the end i could not touch it but the light still stepped up. I think it's just maybe a little bit too much current for this LED. But I don't think it's going to kill it or anything. But um, yeah, just, just keep that in mind. Um, and it's also got a memory mode, of course. And a battery check function, which I have no idea how to use. Because you're probably going to click it like 10,000 times. But it might come in handy if you're into that stuff. And that's the little CSL MN1 TG there. So you can see quite a tiny little surface to emit from. Of course, this is not the first time we've had this LED on this channel. I've tested one in a C8 and these perform really good. My only real qualm that I have when taking it apart is I don't see why Simon uses such big um, springs because when you've got a big battery like these, I upgraded to a couple of these that I also brought from Simon and um they do well they are quite a tight fit so yeah another notable mention is there is an upgrade to the gasket that sits around the led and uh, helps focus it so that could also be adding to the good amount of throw that we get All right, so we can head outside now for some beam shots um i'll test it against my edc which is a s2 plus with a sft 40 it doesn't throw anywhere near as far as this one this one's crazy but it does output more light. I also have another, wait, it's the same light. Uh, I've got an Icarus R7, which is just another uh, bigger S2, um, with a SFT40, which actually does out throw this one, but it does have a bigger reflector. So it'll be interesting to see how they throw compared side by side, but this is a much bigger head, as you guys can see, substantially bigger. Well, not hugely big, but yeah. Alright guys, so we're on like maybe ultra low moonlight mode with the Convoy S8 here. Uh, Cubby House is about 5 meters away. So you can see it does throw pretty good, even in its lowest mode. Not a lot of output, 
But yeah, we'll turn the camera around. I've got to actually use a whole tripod. And even on its lowest mode, you can see it makes it all the way to the fence. You guys can see it hitting there, hopefully. All right, that's mode two. This is in five mode. So it's the 12 group driver in the five mode modes, if that makes sense. All right, that's mode three. Already getting brighter. So it's not like it's not bright. It's just not as bright as like other builds. But it's probably bright enough for most things. So 664 lumens on its brightest mode. So you can see that's not even the brightest mode there. And a whopping 47,883 CD averaged. So I'm not sure if you guys saw that there, right? This is the highest mode here, so 664 lumens. It's already getting hot. Let's see if we can go to the back trees that are about 100 and so meters away. Yeah, gets there easy. They're a little bit over. I think they're like 120, 130 meters away. Pretty cool. Gets there easy. So we'll come back down to the yard. I'm just going to flip modes. There's something in the tree behind me. I think it's a possum. Can you guys hear that? That's not the tree. That's not the wind. Hang on, I've got to check this out. I've got to stop the camera. Wait, let me leave it on in case it's a ghost. Okay, so this is round three. We're in mode four now. Watch that chair when we go into mode five. Look how much bluer the tint gets in mode five. So yeah, the LED looks fine. When I looked at it, it's not burning out, but it does drive the LED very hard. Very, very hard. So you guys can probably see that now. Hopefully the possum like swings down and swings past. Cause that'd be pretty cool. All right, let's compare it to a few other lights and see how it does. All right guys, so I'm not gonna do a side by side yet. This is my Convoy S2 Plus, the silver one that you guys just seen. And it's got the SFT40 in it with the um, direct drive BLF A6 driver. And this is like, it's obviously, it's a lot brighter. Uh, with this 10 amp cell, it's got the same cell as what that other convoy light was using, the 3800 milliamp. They only do 10 amps, so this is probably not doing all the lumens that it can. But yeah, so that's mode 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So you can definitely see the hotspot there. It is a lot, lot bigger than the hotspot that's on that uh, Convoy S8. So we will compare them side by side now. Turning on the Convoy S8, that's the little hotspot there. And this is my S2 Plus with the SFT40. No, so many modes, damn you. So you can see obviously that the um, SFT40 is much brighter, but look at that hotspot on the uh, S8, out throws it. So when I tested this light with this cell yesterday, the um, the S8 is doing 664 lumens, and the um, S2 Plus, my custom, is doing about 2,000, oh, sorry, about 1,900 with this cell in there. Wow, that S8 is getting really, really hot. So about, yeah, 1,900, and throw-wise, I only got about 16,000 CD, so nowhere near as much throw. What is this possum doing? Can you guys hear it? Let me know in the comments if you can hear the possum. I don't know what he's up to, but it's no good. Last but not least, right now we have the, um, the I guess technically it's a S21A or a M21A, the bigger S2s, uh, with a SFT40, also on direct drive. Um, and that's it there, that's how much throw that this thing has. I have not tested it for throw. I think I tested it for like uh, lumens and it got like 2,300, but I haven't tested it for throw. So that's that light there to the left and to the right you can see even though the Convoy S8 is substantially smaller it still out throws it by quite a lot. Nowhere near as many lumens and you know to be honest the beam on the SFT40 looks a lot cooler than the beam on the um, Osram LED actually. Interesting to, to see that side by side. We should go to the trees. Let's go to the trees. I'm not sure you guys can see that. That's the... Uh, the custom built M21A, S21A there. That's back up to highest mode. It does reach the trees, but it is pretty spread out. I'll turn on the um, S8 now. You can see the S8 gets there a lot easier. That 47,883 candela is an amazing amount of throw for such a small flashlight. Yeah, so overall the uh, Convoy S8 is a great flashlight. I highly recommend it. It's very cheap, uh, versatile. 
if you don't need this much throw, I'd probably go for a different LED because you can get more lumens per watt. Ah, oh, the tint looks so much better when it's not on the highest mode. Look at the tint now. It always almost looks like a neutral white. I might have to do some more testing. I'll see if I can access the Opal app and I'll do a bit more testing. Anyway, I just blabbed it on about nothing. So, um, yeah, I would definitely pick one up. Um, it's great with this LED if you need the throw. If you don't need the throw, probably choose a different LED. Um, but there's plenty of options out there. So, yeah, check out my links below. And as always, uh, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. And thank you, guys.